Setting up an integration between Splash and Marketo is easy. After a few key configurations, you'll be sending Splash event data to specific Marketo programs in no time. Here's our recommended setup. Logging in as a user with admin access, go to the admin section of Marketo. We're going to make a few edits to three main areas. Users and roles, channels in the tags area, and field management for the lead database in the database management section. Go to the users and roles section first and select invite new user. From here, create a new user that has API access to Marketo. It is absolutely best practice to set up the user as API only, so that they'll show up in the launch point area, which we'll need to go to later. Program channels define the various steps that a program member might proceed along as you drive them to a defined measure of success, for instance, checking somebody into an event that you're holding. Seeing as how the statuses that are available in Splash are predefined, it makes sense to create a channel to be used for Splash events. Go to the Tags area and press New, and under that, New Channel. Give the channel a logical name, such as Splash Event, and define the names and progression of the statuses as you'd like. You can name these statuses whatever you'd like, and map the actions like RSVP or check-in from Splash to them. Just make sure that when defining the values of your steps, you take into consideration that in Marketo programs, a member cannot be moved to a step with a lower value. For the final piece, under Database Management, go to Field Management. Create a new custom field. We recommend creating at least two, both of them as text areas. Create Splash Event Domain and Splash Event Status. We tend to use those two fields for triggers and filters in our campaign smart lists, adding and updating specific members to our programs. It's worth noting that while this might be the most common setup, you can use any data related to an action in Splash as a way to trigger your campaigns. So that's it. We've created an API user, we've created a program channel to reflect the statuses that exist in a Splash event, and we've created fields to send our data to so we can trigger smart campaigns for the programs that we'll create for each one of our events. Now we're ready to connect our instances of Marketo and Splash.